Now, I didn't get to read the quote, but the French Tennis Federation president had said one must respect the game and the place, uh -huh. and it became a very big deal, and Serena there really diffused it in a huge way. Nike had a response of its own tweeting at that photo of Serena saying you Great. can take the superhero out of her costume, but you can never take away her superpowers. That's fantastic. Elsie, you cover the sport. What did you think of this whole brouhaha? Well, a couple of things. My first was the quote that you talked about from the uh, French Open president, which is, respect the game and the place. Correct. What exactly about her body, about that uniform, if you will, disrespected the French Open or the fans watching? I need you to be specific with that because as far as I can tell on the outside looking in, you're saying she was too bootylicious. That's basically what you're saying to me because I have seen so many, and I've been to the French Open and you can see the women wearing mini skirts, you can see butt cheek as they play. And somehow that's not offensive, mm -hmm. but because she's in this form-fitting uniform that covers up everything, basically, you're now saying that's disrespectful. So I need him to clarify that Good before luck. I, yeah. Good yeah. luck getting that clarification, <laughs> Zeke. <laughs> what did you make of it, Beats? Uh, first of all, I hope Tom Brady took lessons from Serena on how to defuse a situation just by answering the question. That being said, I, I think this is not a good look for the French Open or the French and specifically the gentleman who said you must respect the game. Um, I, think there's a, look, I, I think there's a racial card being played here um, because it is Serena Williams, the bootylicious comment. He, he sounds like the beginning of the, oh, my God, like he's just offended. Um, there's no reason to ban the outfit because you're right. If, if There are many other uniforms that show so much skin, and that doesn't seem to be a problem whatsoever. So I think she has been um, marked for this, and, and I think the entire thing is just a bad look for all of them. I was a little bit surprised at the way she reacted to it. And, and, and yeah. um, the other thing I will say is, I know that at Wimbledon they have a specific dress code, right? Mm -hmm. You have to wear white clothing, mm -hmm. and Andre Agassi famously didn't play there early in his career because <laughs> right. of that. Are there limitations, like stated limitations, on what you can wear at the French Open? I honestly don't know the answer to that question. I should have spent some of this weekend looking it up, because otherwise they're just arbitrarily deciding, to your point, mm -hmm. this was disrespectful to the place. I'm told Jalen has a thought on this again. Jalen in Detroit at his golf tournament this morning. Jalen, what did you think? LZ, correct me if I'm wrong. They seem to be making up these rules as they go along. I appreciate the respect and the responsibility and the maturity with how Serena Williams handled the line of questioning. But let's not get lost what just took place here. Did Michelle Vito just do... A Sir Mix a Lot reference? Well, it was oh just, my God. That, it just reminded me. Of it. That didn't go over my head, B. I like that very much. I like what you did there. 